Welcome back, everybody. Adam from the Way Public Library here, and I think you know the drill by now. If you've got your library card and pin handy, we're going to go to digital.waylibrary.info, and we're going to show you another service you can take advantage of. Today, we're going to take a look at Acorn TV. They have movies, TV shows, documentaries, mysteries, dramas, comedies, all of it coming to you from Britain, Ireland, and Australia. It's a pretty interesting service, and there's a lot of unique stuff there that you'll only find on Acorn TV. The way you use it is going to feel a lot like the other digital services we've seen. The only real difference is that instead of a set number of checkouts per month, you're going to be given seven days of unlimited streaming at a time. We'll talk a little bit more about that as we get into the video. But if you've got your library card handy, let's get into it and help you set up your account so you can start enjoying Acorn TV today. So we find ourselves back at digital.waylibrary.info, and just like we did last time, we're going to go up top where we see digital media. Click on that link. That'll bring us down to our downloadable movies, books, audiobooks, and more section, and we scroll just a little bit until we see Acorn TV. This write-up tells us you can watch your favorite British programs commercial-free with your library card, enjoy shows on your mobile device, TV, or computer, and then the link to click to visit Acorn TV. This app is available for smart TVs, your tablet, your phone, and you will sign in and out of any of those with the um, user information we're going to go ahead and set up here on this screen. We're going to assume you've never used this service before. So up in the top left-hand corner, you'll see an option that says Get Started. We'll go ahead and click on that one. Then they're going to ask you to create a new account. You'll see that option in the top line. After you've created a new account, you'll simply use the username and password section here and log in. It's the same thing you're going to want to do if you're going to sign into the app, again, on your smart TV, your tablet, your phone. If we click where it says create new account, it's going to pop up a screen here where they will ask for your library, um, your library card number and then your PIN. Then after that, you'll go ahead and set up what you would like to use for your username. I'm just using my email address. Be sure to use something that's easy enough to remember. And then your password, which, as always, I recommend writing down. On this screen, you'll see it says our Way Public Library name right up top with our logo. If we scroll down just a little bit here, you'll see it says RB Digital down here in the bottom left-hand corner of the page. That's the partner service that's providing us access to this service. And... Um, there's a, just sort of a write-up about what Acorn TV is here on the right. So I'm going to go ahead and select the login option. I will enter my username and password, and then we'll pick this up in just one moment from inside the rest of the service. So now we find ourselves on the Acorn TV page. This is just what it looks like signing in on the computer. If you were signing in from uh, your tablet, your phone, or your smart TV, it's going to look a little different here, but the gist is essentially going to be the same. You'll see at the top they say, welcome back to Acorn TV, and then you can watch Acorn TV for seven days with free access from your local library. So the way Acorn TV works, which is a little different than most of the other services we've seen so far, is that what you're getting is essentially a seven-day trial service of uh, Acorn TV paid for through the library, and um, you get unlimited streaming within that time. So there's no limit to how much you can watch within those seven days, but at the end of the seven days, uh, your access to Acorn TV will expire, essentially. Now, we get so many licenses a month at the library, so if you would like to watch more Acorn TV after that, you're welcome to come back and see if there are any more licenses available at that time. We're going to go ahead and click the Access Acorn TV button, which is really the only thing worth interacting with on this page at this point. That will bring us over to the landing page where we will see all the different features available to us. If you are returning to this how-to series, you're going to see a lot of things similar to the way we've seen them through other apps and features. Browse is available up top. Schedule, in this case, is going to tell us the schedule of releases, things coming to Acorn TV in the near future. Help is exactly what it sounds like. If you need help with anything within this site, their staff has put together a frequently asked questions page, and there's usually an area there to reach out to the people behind the Acorn app. Over on the far right, you'll see it says My Acorn TV, and if I click on that one, I will get Recently Watched, which is everything that I've watched in the recent past. Uh, my watch list, anything I have seen that I would like to watch at a later date and remember is here, I can add to my watch list. Manage Account will let me do just that, as will Change Password. Fairly simple compared to some of the other services we've seen. Um, David Tennant right there as the Deadwater Fell main title screen. We click through this, we see Lovejoy. Sea Change, Balthazar, 
some of the things they've added recently that they are highlighting and bringing to our attention. If we scroll down a little bit, we can see most popular. And then view all will take us into everything within that one particular category. Once we've done that, you'll see they actually show all the different categories we can search right up top here. Right next to most popular, you'll see it says Celebrate Earth Day. That's just the current promotion they've got going on. That will change, I believe it's month over month. We will see different things listed up there. They might change it more frequently if there's something they're very excited about. Otherwise, you'll see things like must-see miniseries, documentary, foreign language, feature film, etc. Again, most of the stuff you're going to find on Acorn TV is from Britain, Ireland, Australia. Um, if you've watched some of the PBS series that... Um, they show here in the States that have come from the UK. A lot of them um, have some crossover here. Any of these titles you see like Foils War or um, Keeping Faith, these right now say Acorn Original up top. Acorn is the only place you'll be able to view or stream these things online. So those are always good to check out. Some popular things you'll find on here, something like Miss Fisher's Murder Mysteries is I know a really popular show right now. Um, you'll see if you go back up top to um, a category like new releases, anything that they've brought in recently, they're adding new titles every week. And um, there are different ways you can sort these things. Uh, up at the top, you'll see it says you can sort by date added or alphabetically A to Z. At any time, you can go up top to the top left where it says Acorn TV, go back to the home screen. And again, this is how it's functioning here on my computer. It'd be pretty similar on your phone or tablet. If you were on your smart TV using your remote, you're going to interact just a little differently, again, using arrows as opposed to being able to click on any one of these in particular. But otherwise, should not be a lot of surprises compared to things we've seen in some of the other apps and features. If there's a show you're interested in, we'll say something like Vexed here under the comedy series. You can go ahead and click on that one. It will bring you over to that particular show or film's um, info screen. Here you get a little more information about who might be in that show, what it's about. And then there's a couple options here. The first one is Add to Watch List, which is, again, going to put it into a category where you can find it easily later to come back and watch more. View Trailer. While not available for everything, a great way to see the trailer for whatever it is you're interested in. If it's available, watch it briefly, decide if it's something you're interested in more. And then Filter by Series. If we click on that, you'll see it says Series 1 and Series 2. I can also scroll down just a little bit on this screen and see here where it says Series 1 and I get Episodes 1 through 3. And then I can scroll down a little further and here's Series 2, which is Episodes 1 through 6. So in their second season or series, they got extended, which is nice. And then that's it. That's what they've got here for Vexed. And if I was interested in starting at the beginning, I can go ahead and just click the play button right in the middle of that first episode. I'm not going to do that now so that we don't have to worry about muting that one almost immediately. But again, no real surprises here based on the way these services have worked for some of the other digital offerings we have. So Acorn TV, super simple to use very entertaining. Um, a lot of really original stuff here that you're not going to find on other services because Acorn's doing a lot to try and make sure that they've got original, interesting programs that will bring you back again and again. I hope you have a chance to check it out and enjoy it. If you have any questions, as always, you can reach us at digital.waylibrary.info. You can find us on Facebook. You can also call the library. We're checking voicemail all the time. We hope you enjoy Acorn TV, and thanks for watching.